the Clippers starting five. They've got Ivica Zubac. Paul George is out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Jermichael Green. And it's Leonard in at the three. And for the Lakers, LeBron and Bradley are the guards. Anthony Davis is out there with help. And it's DeRozan in at the three slot. So the Clippers win the tip. Here's Westbrook. And Davis sends it back. And you see how the Browns led the league in swaps. <laughs> Not only the wingspan, but the awareness. And there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here following the... And catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed. So can't fault him for going for the block. Now here's George. Passes it to Westbrook. Green breaking loose, and Westbrook gets it to go on the assist by George. The defense probably had a plan for Westbrook's drive, but he's so dynamic. I mean, it all falls apart. And when you think about being fashion forward, Russell Westbrook's fearlessness extends to his game day outfits. Oh, bro, come on, G.A., Russ lives by the model. Why not? I mean, the same reckless abandon we see on the court, yeah, it's reflected in his clothing. And the rejection by LeBron. Oh, you got to be cautious around him. He's always on the hunt to swat away shots. Defense in your rear view may be closer than they appear. Clippers have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. In the corner, it's Westbrook. And the rejection by James. Still plenty of time for him to contribute in this game, but it is a tough stretch he's going through. And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. Close. I mean, Westbrook knows he has what it takes to capitalize. A nice shot by LeBron. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Outside, George. LeBron against Westbrook. Back to George. And he nails the jumper. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Teron Lou and I had a few minutes to share. He talked to me about the importance of protecting the rim, challenging opponents at the top of the jump, and making it difficult for them to convert easy baskets. But to have a chance of that, they have to expend energy getting back in transition, which will help close down those driving lanes. So guys will see where their energy lies throughout this game. Okay, David, much appreciated. And there's the call on Howard. That is his first foul of the game. Drafted and developed to stay and re-sign. It's a great question, Kevin. I actually think in a lot of ways it's easier today because you can be box office. You can be a, a superstar in a small market and have the name recognition uh, because of the era we, we play in. And so I, I think the biggest way to keep them there is to build a championship caliber team around them. I think that is your saving grace. If you can prove to them that you can build a championship caliber team, I don't really think that there is a reason to want to lose. It's a solid blueprint. And the basket is good. Oh, improving his floor awareness. Howard has a decent sense for when his guys are open. Clippers trail by six. Leonard with the ball. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. The kick out to Westbrook. Lock at six. Puts it up from 12. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Lakers leading by six. Guys, this offense very effective. And guys, the defense has been no match. They've just picked them apart. Tries again. Davis. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Davis has got six. Oh, there's no secret that Davis can be a dominant figure on the offensive glass. I mean, and he turns those rebounds in. over James. And the Clippers miss again. That's the only way to hold him in check. He's got it inside. You got to have a body on him right away. And finished off by Davis. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. 
And here's LeBron outside. But they get it back. For three, Caldwell Pope. Caldwell Pope on the wing. Pass to James. They grab their own miss and finish off by Davis. As a defender, is so tough to bound up shooting 85 from the line a season ago, which is an exceptional percentage. And the Lakers making a change here. Rondo's checked in. And for everything that Anthony Davis does on the floor, you can't forget about his defense. Still an elite-level defender, guards multiple positions, and turns away a number of shots. And in the basket from Leonard. Loads it up for Davis and finished off by Davis. Low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. George dishes to Williams. Pass to Zubats. Here's Leonard. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's in the issue and getting the call. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. The free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. And the Lakers making a change here. Howard's checked in. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Westbrook's checked in. Both free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. Oh, not many players with the more steady hand at the free throw line than this from James, the bounce pass. Rondo kicks to Caruso. James, the pass to Davis. And they double up Davis. Shot clock at five. And the rejection by Zubats. Howard, good. Clippers trail by 12. And here's Westbrook. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on LeBron James. In. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Leonard, no luck. Lakers leading by nine. Davis in the corner. Bradley deciding where to go with it. They get it again. Davis with the bucket. Davis has got 19 points. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Westbrook against Bradley. Zubox the pass to George. Shoots it up. Green breaking loose. Count it in the Laker lead has been cut down now to just nine in the bucket from George. Alma Myers torn a little bit. Christian Woods, a guy that kind of good one yes. reminds me of that. He's kind of on the come up. How about Devontae Graham, mm -hmm. the second rounder back in 2018? But he's showing to be an established young talent in this league. And there are many more guys like that. And they're going to have their opportunity to become household names. And they have built their advantage on the scoreboard here by doing all the little things. He's got to be disappointed with his performance, but it'll be easier to swallow if they keep the lead. Beverly, the pass to George. On the high post, he drills it. George has got eight points. Just phenomenal awareness by Beverly, just dishing the ball to the wide open man easily. Beverly against LeBron. That one drops for him. He's got eight. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Out left to the wing. Westbrook wide open. He fires. Wide open, couldn't capitalize. They play the clock right, then go two for one. Just got to time it up right. Outside for Davis. Back to LeBron. Over Beverly. And LeBron James gets it to go. And now it's a 10-point Laker lead. Five. It's stolen by Davis. He didn't turn it over once in the first half. All of a sudden, he's given him one gift after another gift after another gift. Every team looking to get easy ones in transition. That's about as high percentage a look as you're going to get running the floor beautifully. 
There's the three. Count it in the Laker lead has been cut down now to just nine in the bucket from Patterson. And don't sleep on Williams's ability to create for others. That's a veteran play. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. There are few players in the league that can match McGee's athleticism. I mean, his whole career, he's been a class above with his speed and lead. He'll make the most of it on both ends of the court. Shamit, the pass to Patterson. That one misses. And the Lakers going the other way now. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Rondo dishes to DeRozan. Over Williams. Rondo wide open. No good with the triple. And see, Webb, you, you mentioned it with JaVale McGee. His vertical is off the charts. Oh, yeah, he can get to alley oops, GA, that nobody else can. The length and bounce he has is jaw dropping. I mean, the same goes for his shot blocking abilities. He times it up. Here's Rondo, and he could not get that one to go. Davis sends it back. And now the fast break, Rondo with the ball. A three from Bradley. Here's Howard, and it's Howard finishing it off. And you need an army to keep Howard away from the basket. He's so superb at snatching up offensive rebounds. And the Clippers call time here. Definitely not pleased with their rebounding at the defensive end. The, the number of putbacks they've allowed has been terrible. I'm sure that's... ...about it. Show me and show your teammates. We've got to play better, and we've got to play harder if we're going to come back. Guys. There's Shamit. And the rejection by James. Pull up Jay. Bradley finds DeRozan. Shoots over Leonard. And there's another one for the Lakers. <laughs> what a warrior this guy is. DeRozan showing how dangerous he is shooting even while under pressure. Now, here's Shannon. DeRozan defending. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. It's rebounded by Leonard. In the corner. Shamit with it. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Lakers leading by 15. James up top. Zuba. Oh, look at him. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. And it's not about running up the score. It's about closing the door on any kind of comeback. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. Yeah, sure. I mean, when you take care of the backboard, you can limit teams to one shot. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the Lakers. The block can really turn things into their favor this time. Did not turn it down. That's the dagger. You can tell they wanted that one. I know that's it. Here's James. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. You know, it's only a select few. It's not many who make it to this point. And, and I would never take the game for granted. That's why I try to give everything I can till I can't give no more. And uh, I've been around some great players, great coaches, great organizations. And uh, for me to have this opportunity right here means a lot, and I'm very humble. Well, we appreciate all the work you've put in, man. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin.